to delve into detail of how the formula editor works. Moving along with our report 3, this is our report just pulling the raw data from the revenue transaction table. Go and click on View and click on Field Explorer. From here I want you to right click on Formula Fields. It has the X plus 1 underlined as an icon and create New. We'll call this Test Formula. This brings up the Formula Workshop window. The area here to our immediate left are all the formulas available in our reports. Now this stuff up here is repository and report custom functions but we're not going to cover that in this lesson. What you need to concern yourself with are the formula fields here. Notice when I click on that the rest of my option goes away. Let's click on our test formula again. This is where you can navigate to any special formula fields that you've created. Obviously we've just created two but as time goes on you'll find you'll create many more. Remember, the formula workshop's point is not to change the data that's in the database, but rather modify it outside in a report setting. This comes in handy if you're calculating a commission percentage or need to modify a string or a text to reflect new changes in data or new structures that you guys have created around your business model. This is the editor that allows you to do that. Now, again, both our database fields and our user-defined fields are going to follow the same rules of a string, a number, or a date time. Even though we're creating it ourselves, we still have to obey this standard functionality. Next, we bring ourselves to this window here. This is the report field window. Now, I've kind of increased its size so we can see it, but essentially what this does is it allows us access to all the fields in a report, both user-defined and database. For example, when I click on my report fields, this tells me what's in the report. Here are my custom formulas that I've created and saved. Also, if I've forgotten any fields from the database, I can also pull them here and here as well. The next window over are the functions available to you. These, of course, are all defined when you set up crystal reports on your specific machine. We have math functions, summary functions, financial, strings, date and time, date ranges, arrays, almost any type that you can think of. They even have some handy programming shortcuts so you don't have to recode formulas yourself. The next window over are the operators. Operators are kind of like keywords that do certain functions when you type them in. This is where Crystal Reports really shines. This allows you to create custom reports using their Crystal syntax. These operators are easily defined, easy enough, when you look at arithmetic. You can add, subtract, multiply, divide, so on and so forth. You also have conversions, comparisons, strings, and so on. Now we can't cover everything in this basic lesson, but as we move on, I'll teach you some of the more common ones and more ones that you're going to likely to be using. Formulas can get complex. If you don't understand how they work, or if you don't understand basic programming, it's best to keep it as simple as possible add, divide, subtract, so on and so forth. Also can cat strings, cut strings, look for strings. Try and keep it as simple as possible. In the following lessons we're going to go through specific examples that beginners can use right off the bat that don't require any special programming knowledge or a four-year degree from an accredited university to code.